If men in later generations wish to seek the Buddha, they have only to know that the Buddha mind is within sentient beings. Then they will be able to know the Buddha. Our very nature is Buddha. And apart from this nature, there is no other Buddha. Learned audience, to take refuge in a true Buddha is to take refuge in our own essence of mind. Since Buddha is made by your own nature, do not look for him outside your body. If you are deluded in your own nature, Buddha is then a sentient being. If you are awakened in your own nature, sentient beings are the Buddhas. Bodhi, enlightenment, is imminent in the essence of our mind. An attempt to look for it elsewhere is erroneous. Learned audience, all prajna, all divine wisdom, comes from the essence of mind, and not from an exterior source. Have no mistaken notion about that. This is called self-use of the true nature. Look at your own body and mind, and do not cling to outer forms. In our mind itself, a Buddha exists. Our own Buddha is the true Buddha. If we do not have in ourselves the Buddha mind, then where are we to seek the Buddha? If you do not seek the true yourself and seek the Buddha outside, all your seeking will be that of a highly ignorant man. Ignorant people do not understand. If they say they take refuge in Buddha, do they know where he is? Yet, if they cannot see the Buddha, how can they take refuge in him? Does not such an assertion amount to a lie? Learned audience, each of you should consider and examine this point for yourself. And let not your energy be misapplied. The Sutra distinctly says that we should take refuge in the Buddha within ourselves. It does not suggest that we should take refuge in other Buddhas. Moreover, if we do not take refuge in the Buddha within ourselves, there is no other place for us to retreat. If you try to seek a teacher outside and hope to gain deliverance, you will find it impossible. If you have recognized the good teacher within your own mind, you have already obtained deliverance. Those who enlighten themselves need no extraneous help. It is wrong to insist upon the idea that without the advice of the pious and learned, we cannot attain liberation. Why? Because it is by our innate wisdom that we enlighten ourselves. And even the extraneous help and instruction of a pious and learned friend would be of no use if we were deluded by false doctrines and erroneous views. Once you have awakened to the fact that you yourself are your own true good teacher, in one awakening, you will know the Buddha. If you turn your light inwardly, you will find what is esoteric within you. 
a pronouncement to all my fellow students. Strive to understand the secret meaning. All in one and one in all.